I'm very close to solidifying. I'm going to put it out there. My AFC and NFC playoff teams. I'm not going to go to division division yet. So here's who I think is going to be in the AFC. And I have two teams I'm keeping my eye on. So for our radio audience, Dolphins, Bengals, Jags, Chiefs, Bills, Chargers, Ravens, the teams I like. I am keeping my eye on the Broncos. See if they can get that O-line kind of figured out here in the next 10 days. And I'm keeping my eye on the Steelers. Uh, they won six of their last seven. Uh, I'm going to listen to Greg Cosell in a couple of minutes on Kenny Pickett, TJ Watt. So um, I- I'm, I'm just going to keep my eye on the Broncos and Steelers. You have a what, – what, what? are these the exact same seven teams that were in the playoffs last year? As of now. So you're, you think the exact same seven teams are going to make it again? Well – That's why I'm keeping my eye on a couple teams. Now, at least four teams have changed every year for like three decades. But as I've told you, let's go to the NFC now. There's all sorts of stuff that's changing. That's where most of my changes are because you don't have the dominating quarterbacks. So in right now, I have the Eagles, Lions, Panthers, Niners, Seahawks, Vikings, Saints. So obviously, the Lions didn't make it in last year. The Panthers didn't make it in last year. Uh, did the Saints make it in last year? No, they didn't make it, and that would be three new teams. I'm keeping my eye on the Cowboys and Giants. First of all, the Giants just picked up Isaiah Simmons. They have Darren Waller. I I think their schedule, the toughness of it is overstated. I said that yesterday. I think the, everybody's selling their Giants stock, not to be a contrarian, but I think they're going to be just fine. Good, I don't know. Very good, I don't know. Good, probably. Uh, I'm keeping my eye on the Cowboys. Everybody loves the Cowboys this year. Does everybody realize they just lost arguably the best young OC in the game? And now Mike McCarthy's calling plays, who I don't even trust with a clock. I don't think it's great. Don't think it's great. And also, as Greg Cosell told us last week, have we seen the best of Dak Prescott? He's now just a pocket quarterback, and he's never been a great pocket quarterback. We don't get the mobility anymore. So we'll see. And I also think they're one injury away to a Tony Pollard or a C.D. Lamb from being a very limited offense, like very limited. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.